Welcome to the Pool of Siloam, also pronounced Siloam. This pool was hidden from history until a water pipe burst in 2004. During the repairs, some of the steps were uncovered. A Greek Orthodox church owned the land, so it took almost 20 years until the archaeologists were able to begin unearthing more of the pool, which began in January of 2023. When we had visited in March of 2023, this is what had been excavated in just two months. The pool is believed to be approximately the size of two Olympic pools put together and is slightly trapezoidal in shape. The Israel Antiquities Authority says it will take several more years to fully excavate this pool and then it will be open to the public. The Pool of Siloam is the lowest place in altitude within the historical city of Jerusalem. King Hezekiah built the Pool of Siloam to collect the water from the Gihon Spring that he diverted through Hezekiah's tunnel, which I discussed in my last review. As for the other events of Hezekiah's reign, all his achievements and how he made the pool and the tunnel by which he brought water into the city. It was damaged by the Babylonians when Jerusalem was conquered in 586 BC. Then, during the time of Nehemiah, the wall of the Pool of Siloam was repaired around 444 BC. The fountain gate was repaired by Shalun, son of Kolholza, ruler of the district of Mizpah. He rebuilt it, roofing it over and putting its doors and bolts and bars in place. He also repaired the wall of the Pool of Siloam. During the Second Temple period, the pool was used as a giant mitzvah for the Jews to purify themselves prior to heading up to the temple. The most well-known event here recorded in the Bible was when Jesus tells a man, blind since birth, to go wash in the pool of Siloam to be healed. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. Then in verse 6, after saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. Really, this whole account found in John chapter 9 has some great spiritual lessons for us. Why do we have sicknesses? Are there things in your life you choose over Jesus? Are you spiritually blind? Perhaps in a future video when I transition away from these review videos from my trip to Israel, and begin my Bible lesson videos, I will do a deep dive on this chapter. Now, I mentioned earlier how this pool was used to purify the Jews before heading to the temple. Well, we got to see this part of this road known by archaeologists as the Eastern Road or the Pilgrim's Road. And it was a path hundreds of thousands of Jews used to go up to the temple for the festivals after purifying themselves at the pool. Once they arrived at the Temple Mount, they could enter either through Robinson's Arch, which was at the south end of the Western Wall, or through the southern steps. This road hasn't been fully uncovered yet because right above us here is the current neighborhood in the city of David. So it's a tedious process to make sure as they work, they do not disturb the residents above. Theologically and geographically, the finding of this pool confirms yet again that the Bible is not a bunch of made up stories or fairy tales, but it is absolute historical truth. Now, this concludes my short review of the Pool of Siloam. With only two reviews to go, my next review, I will take you to the Southern Steps, which I mentioned before, where potentially a huge New Testament event may have taken place. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, God bless.